this laser is the putter then. What's pointing? Well, there's putters right here to my left. I have no feet. I can't pick them up because they don't exist. I have no feet. It's a problem. Just yeah. a minute here. I've got no footprints, no either. feet. I actually, I'd really like a Coke with some. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. Today we have a story on big business in weed and a governor who might end up smoking a joint. Okay, so the first story, there's so much concern over a big business takeover of uh, marijuana, just like you've seen in tobacco and alcohol, and people are trying to find ways of not having that happen. There are apparently things that are that would be put into the Senate bill that would kind of prevent this from happening, but uh, a couple different options were laid out by a, an organization that advocates for legal marijuana called Parabola Center. Parabola Center. The first basically would limit licenses to five per corporation so they wouldn't you wouldn't be able to have these huge conglomerates that would kind of expand through the entire country with a bunch of different licenses all over the place it seems pretty simple and i doubt that that would ever happen and that 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 same option would um create kind of racial justice benchmarks that each county or state um would have to kind of withhold and if they do not then federal funds would be taken away from those counties so that uh that would be the first option and the five licenses you know it's it's a basic and kind of simple way of doing it my feeling is there would certainly be a lot of pushback on that because uh just corporations the amount of the amount of power that they would have especially these big alcohol uh, corporations that are that would be trying to get into the weed business once it becomes a federally legal thing so I don't, I don't see that really happening. The second option, however, would not be a specific federal legalization. It would be allowing the states to have their own legal rules. So they would set their own things and, and the federal legalization would kind of go underneath that. The priority of, of the rules and, and the differences would be on the state side. What this would really do is it would make it a lot trickier to create a national large scale business that can um, work within the same guidelines across the country country. It would have to be um, specific guidelines in each state, and that would make it a lot trickier, a lot harder to have big, gigantic businesses kind of just take over and, and run the whole thing. So because of having like a stateside thing, you, there would be then these complications, of course, where one state would have a lot less restricting rules, so there would be a lot more things over there, and then people would come from other states around just to go there to get that thing. It's like fireworks in New Jersey, where you, you can't buy fireworks there, but you can set them off. So people go to Pennsylvania, buy the fireworks, and it's illegal to to set them off in Pennsylvania, so they bring them back to New Jersey. It's a, it's a whole mess, but that's kind of what it would probably turn into with this. But again, you know, it would it would stop big businesses from being created and um, just taking over the entire thing. And a little quote from Parabola Center: um, "The key is that both approaches eliminate federal penalties for consumers and patients using cannabis, but they don't open the doors to corporate consolidation. We wouldn't be able to take back." It's important not to conflate consumer patient rights with corporate profits. One is an immediate need and one is not. The fact that this is being put out there is kind of creating, bringing it more into the consciousness and, and having people be more aware that this could be a problem, that just federal legalization is not, is not an end all thing. We need to think about how we do it and the way it rolls out. Oh, you got your little, got your little wadder. Got your little wadder on your TRD pro. Hmm? Gonna gonna use that that witty bitty water in case it gets rain, you know? In case you drive into the river. You can climb up your widow ladder to the top of your roof. Second story, this isn't much of a story, but uh, Connecticut is going to legalize marijuana next week. They're going to sign the bill next week. The governor's going to sign the bill. And he was asked recently whether or not he would be smoking marijuana once it's legal in the state. And this is what he said. Now that marijuana is legal, can we expect to see the governor smoking the joint? Time will tell. Really? You're open to it? Not right now, but we'll see. <laughs> So clearly he's very flustered when he was asked this. It doesn't seem like he was ready for the answer or didn't know how to respond. He was kind of trying to make calculations in his head instead of answering honestly. And I wouldn't be surprised if he kind of takes this back maybe within the next week or so, and especially if it becomes more of a story. But then it gets you thinking like, if what if, what if he did smoke weed in public? Uh, what, if, what if he allowed people to see him smoking a joint? Um, 
it would probably not do good things for his political career. However, it would help in a large way normalizing the idea of smoking weed, especially for people who don't do it, especially for people who are, have never been around it and just smell it and see it and, and just associate it with like the bad kids or whatever. Seeing a governor do that, again, would, would be probably, would probably kill his career, but also, it would be so beneficial. It would be so beneficial for the people who are trying to legalize because we've all seen the Obama picture of him as a kid smoking weed and that was pretty big. And that's gone a long way from Clinton saying that, yeah, he smoked, but he didn't inhale, which is the most absurd thing I've ever heard. I've ever heard. But yeah, the more the more um, you know people in government actually smoking weed and people seeing them do it would then kind of start to kind of start to equate it with seeing them talk at, and having a glass of wine. It would be kind of a similar deal or smoking a cigarette, which I guess you don't really see politicians do anyway. But like I said, I don't think that he's going to actually do this. I don't think we're going to see Governor Ned Lamont actually smoke marijuana in front of people, but he should. And we should see a lot more people do it. And that's kind of it for today. So we'll be back next week and talk about Connecticut actually finally legalizing. See you then. I'm just going to scooch in right here if you don't mind. Uh, shh. Come. Um.